Kiana here with PMP Crafters. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I am going to show you how to use Canva to make your own balloon mock-ups and your balloon menus. Now a lot of our balloon decorators are needing this and they are loving these things. So I'm going to show you how you can create your own into Canva. Now the first thing you want to do is of course download Canva. You can get the free trial. I also have a link down below where you can do that free trial and then I recorded a video on how to get the Qualitex colored balloons if that's what you are looking to use as well as trying to figure out a way to do the other brands. It should be somewhere similar. Um, now in this video, I am going to show you how Canva Pro can help you out with these things. Um, so you can go and check out the other video if you want to see how I used um, tools that are already within the system and just use the colors from Qualitex. But okay, in here I went ahead and went into posters. I have my menu set up um, almost as if it's a standard sheet of paper instead of having it landscape. Um, and so in the previous video, I showed you how to do balloon columns. I am going to do two different things in this video. Um, but first I wanna show you what Canva Pro has, which is really cool, that looks like balloons. So, okay, so first thing you're gonna do is go to Elements, and then you're gonna type in 3D Sphere. When you type in 3D Sphere, if you're looking for a particular color, you can type that in. But I just wanted to make sure that I just typed in regular 3D Sphere so that way you can see the options. Now, these are the Sphere, and of course you can see they are in Pro mode. So if you do not have Pro, Canva Pro, but you're thinking about it, I highly, highly recommend that if you're gonna be doing this, that you have this as an option because you can use both ways. You can, um, get the colors from Qualitex and use those colors, but you can also use the 3D Sphere. So that's what we're going to use today. And we're going to, I wanted to choose a gold. So we're gonna do a balloon hoop. And what you can do is simply go into Google, type in gold hoop, and get the image right off of there. Um, I've already have some, I have one here, and so I have the gold hoop image. And then all I'm going to do, go into edit photo, and this is another great feature off of the pro thing so it's going to take the background off of it so now I really truly just have my hoop okay and then I'm going to size it down so like I said this is going to be a menu and so we're going to have several different things on here so I'm going to size this about right but now that I have my hoop all I'm going to do is take these actual balloons here what our balloons are going to be and I am going to create our clusters um so i'm gonna make doubles with these now um depending on how you want your yours to go i'm just gonna duplicate and i will do two make one just a little bit smaller And I'm simply gonna place these as if, I wanna make it look as natural as possible um, when it comes to when we build our actual balloons.
Okay, so now that we have our hoop, we can now add the details to it as if we were creating an actual garland. So I am going to create my little cluster of three here. I'm just gonna make it smaller, make duplicates of them, and then just kind of place them in wherever I see fit to make it look a little more realistic. Now we have our full hoop. Now at this time, if you want to keep in this, this gold hoop, you can, but I like to go ahead and take it out. So now that I have my design here, I can now take this out or leave it in. It's totally up to you on what you want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and delete mine. So now we have our hoop design. I'm gonna show you one more that you can do. You can do the arch pedestal with um, a garland. And so that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna go into elements. And once we get into elements, we are going to type in arch. Want a particular color you can go into frames and then put in your thing so this is what we're going to do this frame here and i'm going to take this textured wall hopefully this is going to look nicely so i put that in there and i'm simply going to adjust my photo to give my textured wall so now this is going to be my textured arch and we are going to add a garland into this. So now that I have this already done, I can duplicate from here, just duplicate and pull over into my arch design. And you simply can you do this with all of your things that you're gonna add into your balloon menu. All right, so now I would like to put some on this other side. So I'm going to create some on this other side and then maybe put a little sign in the center. Who knows? But let's go ahead and finish this up. Okay, so now we are done. This is a great simple balloon mock-up of a balloon hoop as well as a arch pedestal and garland. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if there is anything else that you guys would like to see, definitely leave that down in the description below. Happy crafting, you guys.